200,000 Americans will develop carpal tunnel syndrome that will require surgery, but now there's a new technique that will lessen the recovery time and the scarring. It affects me quite a lot. Um, I hold my child in my left arm, and my left arm's the worst, and um, I can only hold him for a couple minutes, and I have to switch him because my arm gets numb and tingly. Sleeping at night's very difficult. It gets very numb and tingly as well. And um, often when I wake up in the morning, I have no feeling at all for, you know, probably about a good 15, 20 minutes. The uh, symptoms of carpal tunnel are quite varied. The most common symptoms are numbness and tingling sensation in the fingers of the hand, uh, wrist pain, uh, the pain that can actually radiate to the elbow and all the way, it's been reported all the way to the shoulder of the of the same uh, upper extremity where the carpal tunnel syndrome exists. The uh, traditional way that the carpal tunnel surgery is performed is by uh, making an incision in the palm of the patient's hand, the affected hand, and uh, that, uh, through that incision you have to cut the skin, the subcutaneous tissue, which is the tissue underneath the skin, the fat, um, a lot of time one muscle uh, to get to where the carpal tunnel actually is and then you can release the carpal tunnel. So everything else that you've cut in your way to get to the carpal tunnel is unnecessary. That's not where the problem is. With this procedure we actually put a small incision into the one of the wrist creases that will pretty much heal very well and we conceal within our regular skin creases and then we put a camera inside the wrist and we cut just the carpal tunnel ligament which is a transverse carpal tunnel transverse carpal ligament and that can be done from inside without cutting all this other tissue that I previously mentioned which, are, which do not actually contribute anything to the disease. There is less recovery time with the laparoscopic technique than with the traditional procedure. Patients undergoing the laparoscopic procedure are usually able to return to their regular activities in two weeks. The problem with carpal tunnel syndrome and, and the problem that Melissa is having is that if um, it's not treated it certainly doesn't go away by itself. Uh, it needs some sort of a treatment. And if it's uh, continuously there, it's just getting worse throughout the period of time that is passing. This is a pressure over the most important, perhaps the most important nerve in the, in the wrist, which is the median nerve. And over time, the pressure over median nerve causes scarring and damage to the nerve. But at some point, it will be irreversible. No matter what you do for the operation, the patient will may not get worse but may not get better so it's it's something that the general public and also physicians need to know about so there's very good ways of treating it these days and we can offer that to patients and here's Don Frisch with our pharmacy minute